Hey guys, I'm Dustin, this is Till Swedish, and today's topic is gender. If you speak English, and to save time I'll just assume that you do, you'll know that gender is kind of like this mysterious, distant, foreign, scary thing for English speakers, and that's because we dropped gender from our language about 500 years ago. Probably. However, a lot of languages still have gender. Uh, your romance languages like Spanish and French have it. Um, your Germanic languages like German, Swedish has it. The thing that sucks about gender in Swedish language is that you really just have to learn it as you go. There's no hard fast rule. There's actually no rule that I can think of to tell you whether a noun is going to be either common, which gives it the N, or neuter, which gives it et. Uh, you just kind of have to learn it. As you learn the word, you have to learn the gender and the reason is because the gender is so very important in Swedish. If you don't know the gender, then you basically can't say a range of very simple things that you should be able to say. Like you would never be able to say a uh, something or the something or my something or your something. Because depending on what gender the word is, that determines which word you're going to use. Uh, example, uh, et hus is a house because hus is a neuter word. It gets et. Um, and hund, which is dog, is going to be n because it's a common noun. And if you wanted to say the house, you would say Huset, still using et. And if you wanted to say the dog, obviously you would follow the same pattern and say hunden. But if you wanted to say my house, or if I wanted to say my house, I would say mit hus. Or if I wanted to say my dog, I would say min hund. And if I wanted to say your house, it would be dit hus. Or your dog, it would be din hund. And if you don't know what gender it is, uh, obviously you're probably going to be understood, but if you really want to speak correctly, you should probably know. I'm not entirely sure, but I think there are actually some other things uh, within the language that the gender does affect, and if you want to speak uh, correctly, then you should probably learn it. It is extremely important, and for an English speaker, it seems just arbitrary and stupid, but if you choose to learn another language, I see no reason not to learn it correctly. So that's it for this Learn Swedish With Me video. I may not have actually taught you anything here, but at the same time, I didn't actually learn anything, so I'd say we're pretty much even. If you like what you saw here today, or you found any of it informative or just entertaining in the least, go ahead, leave a comment below, uh, like, share, whatever, subscribe for sure. Every subscriber helps. The more people who like and comment and subscribe, the more motivated I am to study harder, learn more, make more videos, and hopefully have some more entertaining stuff coming in the future. So. Until next time, Taxo Mike, Ojedo.